Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today, I am without daughter, but I am with Margarita. Um, so, with that, we are going to start watching, ugh, by the warning, live at Lunario. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if it's ugh or some other way. Uh, it's my understanding that the song title has nothing to do with the contents of the song. Uh, if I remember what somebody wrote uh, in an earlier comment, I actually reacted to this from the uh, Teatro concert, but I didn't know it was part of this album at the time. And I think somebody said that they were having trouble finishing the song and their dad kept bugging them about it. And so it kind of became a joke working title for the song. Um, and once they finished, they just decided to keep it. Uh, maybe the case, maybe not, but in any case, uh, we will move on. And you guys can let me know if I got that wrong. And so we've watched the first two songs. Uh, everybody's done a great job. I really appreciate it. Uh, telling me in the comments what's kind of going on without giving too much away, without, you know, with what's going to be coming up. And uh, so appreciate that. Really appreciate the comments. Uh, and that nobody's giving anything away. I'd rather know too little than too much. So with that, we are going to go uh, go ahead and watch. Ugh. Should have lines okay.
All right, that was great. Um, actually, I'm not going to take this off because I think I'm going to go back and play a couple things. So I, I typically stop some and talk, but I, I listened to this one before, like I said, and so I was able to focus on certain things a little bit more. Uh, and I just I didn't really feel that there was a good place to stop while I was thinking about things. Uh, I think lyrically, uh, actually I'm going to take this off for a second, I think lyrically, uh, now that I know, you know, where this falls in the story, it really is kind of reinforcing that, you know, uh, kind of obsession uh, that's not being returned. And it's like, and it was being sung, I think, mostly from the point of view of the Queen. I think I might have seen Powell join in there. Again, that's kind of that duality, which I now understand is the same person. Uh, but it's not being returned. And while the Queen seems like she realizes it's not being returned and she realizes uh, that she's got some issues about this whole thing. There's always that little bit of hope, right? Like, I just want to hold your hand like this. This I don't want a lot out of this thing. I just want something back. And she knows she's probably not going to get anything. Uh, and then this last, you know, this last section here, what a, uh, I got the lyrics in front of me because I can never remember them. Or sometimes I can't hear them. I can hear, the, hear it great in this concert more than anything else I've heard them. Uh, but so it's only making me reveal what it will take to make me break once and for all. So this is kind of leading into the uh, things are about to get worse psychologically type of thing, right? So now we've taken this, you know, uh, I have this obsession and it's getting worse. It's not being returned and I'm about to lose my mind kind of thing. Uh, so I think that does follow along. I, I didn't actually look to see what the next song is going to be. Uh, but I guess there's one more song in chapter one. Uh, somebody's said you can, there's the vlogs that kind of talk about different parts of the story and then you could even go in and watch, uh, you know, like after chapter one, there's a specific vlog you can probably watch to hear about what happened there without, uh, without ruining anything that comes later. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to do those. In between the songs, I may wait till the end, but I, I do plan on doing those. Uh, but there are a couple musical things I wanted to talk about as well. Uh, does anybody know, and I've mentioned things like this before, I'm a little bit of a guitar nerd about these kind of things. Does Did she have a drop D tuning on this one? Uh, the way she was... Let me see if I can find it. At one point, she, she starts doing it faster. Like, even right there. This isn't the faster spot necessarily. Uh, I don't know if this would be a drop D or almost like you. The way she's playing the notes on the same fret wouldn't make sense. Maybe not even for a drop D. It almost seems like you turn it up to a, an F sharp or something uh, to be able to play the power chords like that. I have to think about that. But uh, so I'm. Just, I was thinking while she was playing it that that you might have even seen me make a face that that the way she was playing that didn't. You know, it wouldn't be a normal way to do it. Uh, but I was just thinking about it. It must have just been me. Uh, but then at the very end here, after they're done, I see her start taking that off to hand off to somebody else, I guess maybe to switch guitars. I don't know if the guitar that she's going to next is something that's... Um, completely just trimming it a little forward. Is something that's, you know, completely different, like for an acoustic thing or something. Uh, or if she really did have a, you know, like a, uh, a different tuning for that one, and that's why she was handing that off. Uh, you know, they open it with that great bass line, and you know, I've mentioned before, I always love when they do that. But then they have this outro section here, uh, and I wanted to just mention a couple things on that. Uh, before. Right there, there's some pretty cool uh, bass note accents that were a little different, I think, than what she was playing. Uh, during the song, during that chord progression. Uh, so I thought that kind of gave it a, it was almost like a, a little bit more of a minor, almost almost a, a, a dissonant, not quite dissonant, but it was a different feeling of, of dissonance, even though it wasn't actually dissonant music, but I think maybe just more of a direct minor. Anyway, it was just kind of cool. And then, you know, the, the solo that she started playing just kind of, you know, once again shows that she doesn't need to play fast or anything to be able to play really tasty outro type music. I'm, you know, I'm sucker for a lot of things and good outro guitar solos are, are one of them. Uh, so all in all, this song gets a big thumbs up for me. Um, and I'm really looking forward to what the next one's going to be. I, you know, I've been trying to do these every day and I don't know that 
it's going to be tough just because of, you know, life and stuff. Uh, but we will see what we can do uh, to at least get them out as quickly as I can. In any case, uh, I look forward to, as always, uh, watching the next song. Thanks, everybody, for watching with me. And I'm looking forward to the comments. And just let me know uh, if there's anything I need to know, but don't let me know too much. Uh, and with that, I will sign off, and everybody have a great day. Thanks.